Do you guys remember where we left off last week? We're working on our what? Backgrounds. Backgrounds, right? It's about using your brush. Crisscrosses, C's. Last year, I had a hard time going to schools. You know, I was like, hey, look, I work for the violence prevention program, and a lot of them didn't want to acknowledge that there was issues yeah, in their schools. I used a pencil to sketch it out, oh. and I shaded it. I shaded it. Bamski contacted the ceasefire. They were actually focusing at the school about violence and how they could help the community and so forth. And I was like, hey, what do you think about the idea of maybe introducing like, art for them to express themselves about violence? Now, this one right here, I kind of really like this one. And when I was in prison, a, painting an was my form of dealing with my issues and my problems and really you discovering myself. Good. You got this angel, he's in hell. And then behind him is like some demons taunting him. Art, it's kind of a way to hook the kids much what they're thinking about. What's the one thing in your neighborhood that you wish people could focus on more to help out? Spray painting. Spray painting. What about you? The shootings. In my the shootings? Neighborhood. Because my mom's scared that there's going to be a shooting going on me while I'm outside. I would want them to help with the shooting because that really bothers me. Why does it bother you? Because there was this one time when our neighbors got into a fight and I don't know what else happened, but somebody started shooting. And... It really does. And what you're doing right here, being part of this program, that's a great thing. Because it shows that you care and you want to do something about it. And I just wish that these kids, if they ever go through that, it doesn't affect them the same way it affected me. My coping mechanism is keep going, keep going, keep going, keep working. I think I stay busy just to stay out of bullshit and try to forget about some of the things that I've done.